What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, I'm doing absolutely good today. But, I want to talk to you guys today about a old uh, ATX computer power supply for your computer. Uh, desktop computer. Now, we have a somewhat of a dilemma here on how you can actually turn these power supplies on without destroying it itself. By the way, this is a extra power supply. I am going to be keeping it and also I also need to clean it as well because it's uh, a little bit dusty on the inside of it. But let's talk about the 20 pin power supply motherboard connection. Now, everybody says, oh, you need to chop all these wires off and save only a couple uh, cables here. And by the way, the cable you really guys really, really need to worry about is this green cable. If you guys can see it right there. This green cable and one of the ground cables. All you have to do is hook those two up and this power supply will actually turn on. But without destroying the whole tile unit itself and making this useless for a computer again, I'm going to use a very nifty trick. It's a, a paper clip. It's a jumper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the pins here and one of the grounds and the green inside of this little guy. And this will actually jumper the power supply thinking this power supply is plugged into the motherboard it has a computer now all the arm cuddles you don't really need to necessarily worry about okay but if you're going to be turning this out and into something pretty unique I probably would have to worry about this with all these arm cuddles but for this demonstration we don't need to worry about the own um, cuddle codes or the cuddles here. Now I do have a cuddle code sheet here. Black is your ground, orange is your uh, 3.3 volts, uh, red is your 5 volts, yellow is your 12 volts, blue is your minus 12 volts, green is your power, uh, 5 volts standby, good is power, uh, 3.3 3 volt standby and also the weight is the nearest uh, voltage for 5 as well. That's what I have this little diagram here to kind of show you on what this schematic does of these cables. Of all these different cuddles, <coughs> you really only need to worry about two. The green and a single ground. And that would actually turn this power supply right on. Now, this is a, a very old uh, power supply here. It's an ATX old style power supply. As you guys can see, it has a standard old uh, Molex and connectors and floppy connectors on it. But this is not a very high end uh, power supply. I'm going to go ahead and remove my little jump for here before you don't lose it. But I do recommend looking up the uh, cuddle codes here. If you guys can quite see that, it's pretty nifty to somewhat understand the cuddle codes of ATX power supplies. Now, uh, let's go ahead and show you what's on the back of this old power supply here. You guys can see this is a very, very old one here. You guys can see we have the power input. Then we also have a power output. And also here is my fan. Uh, this is a very uh, dirty on the inside. I'm going to be taking the uh, cover off and showing you. So I ain't nothing to these power supplies. Really not much to it. Now, with the new ones, <coughs> typically, you're going to have a switch. Well, this uh, older one, it does not have a switch because it is a pretty old uh, ATX power supply. But it's too nifty and it's too handy to actually keep as a computer power supply. But... Let us go remove the three silver screws on the top of the power supply. And I will be showing you guys 
once I put that pin back in the a little paper clip pin back in the uh, little guy though, in this uh, 20 pin connection Molex, uh, the 20 pin connector for your motherboard, and we're going to jump it and see if it actually starts up. Now you do not need to really destroy the whole tile power supply itself to able to do this. Uh, you can actually make a simple jump or switch by using the original connector off of a very older motherboard if I need to to actually salvage this uh, power supply. That's a pretty nice old ATX power supply. And yeah, let's go ahead and move the top. <coughs> and there you guys can see. Yeah, it's the top cover been removed. I know you guys can already see all the uh, loads though. But you guys can see. Also, once in a while, do clean out your power supplies because the also somewhat get dirty on the inside as well. But here's the interesting bits and configuration of these power supplies and stuff. Let me see. Yes, she is a bit dusty on the inside, but don't worry. I would be blowing all that out as well. But it's pretty nice to actually see what it looks like on the inside of one of these old ATX power supplies. Now, we're going to go ahead. And we're going to go ahead and plug the power supply in without the jumper being in on the power supply itself. Now, do be careful, okay, by plugging this uh, power supply in uh, without the top cover on. Just be very, very, very careful if you're going to be doing that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make we're going to use a simple, tiny paper clip jumper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find that green power lead in a single ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it right in now. Yeah, just like that. But I don't know if you guys can see. Right, 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 the fans moving. See? Very simple. I didn't destroy it, I didn't cut off the leads or anything like that. And do be careful if you're going to be playing around with these older power supplies themselves. We're going to go ahead and take that jumper back out and the fan's going to stop. And we're going to go ahead and remove the AC power from the ATX power supply. Now, the one thing we must do is self tish charge this power supply. Now it'll be briefly you will see that fan kick on for a brief second. But when I put this jumper in the 20 pin connector, it should actually magically discharge the system. You see sometimes it did move and sometimes it doesn't move because it wasn't on all the time. And we'll just make sure we self charge, charge the unit before we actually work on it. Now, we do have to be careful because this circuit, this is the high circuit, this is the DC circuit right here. This is the DC uh, circuit of the computer, uh, the computer power supply. This is the AC side of the power supply. Now, again, it's a little dirty. But I will be cleaning it out. Now, how did I make this little jumper lead? I just made it out of a simple paper clip. All I did was bent it around, twist it, and kind of like squeeze it a little bit for it to actual fit on the inside of this jumper uh, pin here. All I'm doing is jumping the green wire to a ground. And that's how this unit actually starts. Now, if you want to be able to use this for something else, now, <clears throat> you can actually completely gut the whole tile system. Okay, completely gut all the wires. Do what you guys want to 
with the wireless and how if it's going to be able to work for you guys. Now again, this does not have a on and off switch because that's the reason why this one is designed as really old. Okay, input and output power. Because years ago, before uh, monitors have their own power supplies built into them, you used to use the power supplies from the power supplies from your computer. Now, that's a very simple design, very nicely high quality design power supply. Again, we do gotta be careful on some of these DC uh, caps and also AC caps because this uh, unit can be uh, very charged with high energy, uh, 125 volts. Uh, we don't wanna you know, hurt yourself, but you know, be very careful if you're going to be doing this type of extensive work. If you want to salvage your power supply, just make a simple switch or a jumper to able to salvage your power supply. Now, this older ATX power supply, I I don't have really much use for it, but I could probably figure out what I can actually do. Now, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in this time with the jumper put in this time. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and kick it in like this, and ta-da, there she goes, the power supply is working just fine, and now we're just going to go ahead and quickly take the plug up, and it will self discharge because of the jump wolves still on the inside of the plug. Now, if you really want to get more creative, and you want to look up the wire codes, I'd recommend trying to look up the ATX cuddle code wires for the different power supplies for different units as well. This is a very simple and easy project. Now, if you really, really want to, you can get rid of most of all these wires on the inside of your power supply itself. You can get rid of certain wires you don't need, but do keep certain wires you do need on your AC or your power supply, your ATX power supply. But this is a good idea without chopping up the poor power supply here. Alright guys, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, please share, please like, leave a comment down below on any ideas what I can do with this old fashioned power supplies. Peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog.